Do not get in the way of your heart wanting to desperately speak to Allah. Come as you are, leave your worries and heartache on the prayer mat and walk away with his mercy and love for you. Trust in him. But to seek his guidance, you must take the first step. And even if you have no words to say, let your heart speak on behalf of you. Ask Allah to make things easy for you. Pray for his forgiveness. Swim in his infinite love for you. I truly hope that you receive what you are seeking in ways you could have never imagined. I pray that you keep fighting even on your darkest days. And I hope you never feel unworthy of his mercy, for his mercy will always exceed our shortcomings. Assalamu alaikum everybody. I hope you're doing really well. Ramadan Mubarak. I had to start this month's Ramadan content off with the beautiful words of Unsweet and Unfiltered. I've spoken about her podcast before and if you have not listened to her and you're looking for a really good podcast this Ramadan, 100% I recommend it. And yeah, she's so beautiful, mashallah, and she has the most interesting guests. But anyway, I digress. Ramadan Mubarak. I hope you guys are in the best of health and iman, inshallah. And um, I had to start off with those words because honestly, and truly I feel incredibly overwhelmed and this is not the first time I'm saying this on my channel I've had a lot of ah, overwhelmed like feelings um, in the last couple of years I think there's been so much change going on we're starting on Sunday today is currently Saturday I get like being prepared food wise I feel like mentally up here I'm not prepared at all I've not had a chance to do any decor or any cute stuff like that I literally yesterday just ordered like one or two little things because as you might know we were in Pakistan for like three weeks before that we were in Portugal and before that we had just taken out all of our belongings and things so we've been out of the country for like a month the last two to three weeks I've just started packing and settling in alhamdulillah this year I'm not going into you know a teaching role I'm not working I'm not going out the house to work I'm still working on my photography business so I've still got editing to be doing but I'm also like sorting out the house and although it doesn't seem like such a huge task it just it is enormous like every room needs something whether and whether that's literally just unpacking and settling in or whether it's part of the renovation process it's gonna be a different room down for me I know I'm super super grateful that I get to be at home but it's not like our home is ready and set and like we can I can just completely focus on 100% Ibada which I wish I could do but we're not at that stage in place and to be honest with you like most of you guys watching you're going to be able to relate to that because like Ramadan is not a month where I mean I'm, I'm sure we'd love to but it's not a month where we can just like switch off all our other responsibilities we just have to increase our Ibada and increase our spirituality and take it as an opportunity to reconnect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Reading that post this morning, I was already feeling like emotional and like just feeling like not worthy enough. It even reached Ramadan to be honest and it was just in a bit of a low low place. And then I read that and I just thought it was so beautiful. You know, you know, do not get in the way of your heart wanting to desperately speak to Allah. Like don't allow and right now it's just like just before Ramadan is when Shaitan is like doing his utmost to you know try and make you feel rubbish um and try and make you feel like that so you have to kind of try and recognize that and I'm talking to me first like I have to try and recognize that so my plan for my content in the next month is every single Sunday I'm going to be posting a Pakistan vlog because I've literally got enough content to go throughout the whole of April and then every Tuesday I'm going to post sort of like weekly vlog stuff um and it should be mostly run done focus stuff like DIY stuff painting that sort of stuff that's gonna be for the separate home series so if you're not into that don't worry it's not really gonna be in here finally finally my parcel has arrived this is like the peak of adulting by the way when you get a parcel like this and you're excited for it but I ordered these a while ago my light bulbs have arrived and please excuse the super crease jumper and it's very ironic that I've got chill on my jumper and I'm feeling anything but chill yeah forgive me I've been doing something also I don't know if anyone else is like me but I hate like cool tone lights in houses I absolutely hate them <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish I could a geeky nerdy adult saying this but yeah these are 806 lumen um, they're the Maxim brand and they are the warm white colour so yeah absolutely perfect and the bayonet cap Anyway, the other ones that need changing are these. There's only one of these that works, but <laughs> it's a little bit too high. So for that, we'll definitely have to get a ladder. And then this room here, which was, we used to sleep in this room. And then when we moved out, this was um, the kids' playroom. 
but this is inshallah going to become my office uh, it's going to be a multi-purpose space we're going to have the podcast set up here and it's also going to be an office space and and ho- at home studio as well inshallah which i'm super excited about that's going to take a good like maybe three months to do but um today i need to empty out this wardrobe behind me and i have that ready so that when wakai and his brother come back from work they can take that upstairs for me and i've also got the chester drawers so in this chester drawers i've literally got like all my stationery hair stuff extra skincare all that sort of stuff and that's just been here since we moved so that's also going to be going upstairs into my dressing room and then eventually we're going to rip out the carpet this carpet is super old i want to have hardwood flooring in here because i just spare it and then i'll just have rugs down and to be honest for now like the actual wallpaper is is totally fine like it's a really nice design there's my big teddy bear <laughs> over there yeah there's just a lot to do which is why as you can probably tell like i was just feeling really overwhelmed this room here um is where we are currently sleeping it's where like our mattresses and we love our mattress so much but yeah it's all this is what's going to be my beauty room and pretty much like my filming room for russian giraffe it definitely does need like a lick of paint but i love the fact that it's already got white walls there's not like too much to change it at all and it's got wooden flooring which is great and um, so my dressing table is here i'm actually not going to show you it because it's horrendous it's such a mess and then the room that we are going to have as our bedroom is uh, this one which is lovely and um, it's currently a blue color i am planning to make it pretty neutral but have pops of green and gold in here the bedroom is definitely one uh, that i don't want to rush because obviously it's such an important room i just don't want to like just grab things like here and there I'm trying to get to you see me standing on my feet so I just took a screenshot of our Ramadan timetable. First fast starts actually at 4.17 in the morning and it uh, ends at 7.56. So basically the Gibla faces in this direction. So it just makes sense to have the Jinnahs laid out here. And then just make this area really cute. So I've got some balloons coming that are going to be over here. Well, Kaira was gifted this absolutely stunning piece here. It's called Idle Kursi on it. And uh, it just reminded us of our school. Oh, and that should just be in the front room anyway. This poor giraffe has like actually lost his ears in the move. So that's a shame. But yeah, we'll put that there. Ya Rabbi, forgive me. I've been doing something stupid. Guys, I'm gonna link this video down below. I was just folding the laundry and watching it, and it's so nice. Um, it really is a beautiful way to start your Ramadan and to really have this sincere belief. Essentially, about you know, really believing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has created us and everything else can give you anything your heart desires. So I'm definitely gonna link that down below. The certainty, the one you're asking, like, are you really saying goodbye? So I'm making love, cause I need your love. I've been crying all day long. Before my time I'm just gonna clean my washing machine and apparently it's simple as just using these soda crystals I got them from home bargains it says add 500 grams to the drum and run on a hot wash once a month basically half the bag of this I've definitely found that a washing machine has become a lot less effective I feel like it's just not cleaning as well as it needs to but it's working like we had the engineer in and he was like it's doing what it needs to do like there's not really anything else that they can do on their end apparently yeah time to give us a good clean so i'm just gonna twist that around pour a bit more in and then an extra tip is you can add some zaflora put in maybe about two lots there and then you're supposed to put it on the hottest cycle so let's turn that up so hoping this week to move on we'll get my skincare out because right now it's all just in my dressing room slash where we're sleeping but i just popped this basket here and all my washed and um, face cloths are in here I love these ones, they're my favourite, the, the soft kind of makeup remover ones. Um, these, this one was from Primark, you can get them from Home Bargains too. This is good too, this is from Audi, this was like a dupe for the, um, I don't even remember what that thing is now. But yeah, you guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> it's that dupe for the one that you can get in boots for much more expensive. And then these flannels are fine. The only thing I would say about flannels is that they don't always come out the softest, whereas this always comes super soft in the wash. So eventually I probably will only buy these. Guys, I literally just found my um, pegboard. This is, I don't think I've actually used this since I lived in Milton Keynes. It's been a while. Yeah, I also got this candle out. This is from the little um, Christmas collection. It's a frankincense one. The luxury collection. We're going to like that and have that on every time we are in here in a state of... You guys know what I mean by this, right? <laughs> anyway, let's take this off and see what we've got oh my goodness 
Alhamdulillah for Ramadan 2019. That is such a long time ago. Wow, okay. Mercy, oh Lord. Yeah, I remember that weekend when me and my best friend praying. I prayed for this dress to give you my all. Now, I made my decision. It's you, I want no other. Okay, that took a lot longer than I thought. And as you can see, there's two different types of letters. I don't know how much you can tell, but like kind of the two different fonts and they're not all clearly put in. <laughs> this is actually so much more fiddly than I remember. But yeah, I thought instead of this year having like the same message, I would put a dua. So every time we come into this room, we read it and we ask Allah SWT for forgiveness. This dua says... Oh Allah, you are the one who forgives greatly, loves forgiving, so forgive and pardon my sins. And as we know, Ramadan is a time for us to reset. So guys, um, my in-laws had these lights here already, which I will have on sometimes. I did try to put that part there up there. It wasn't wanting to work. So yes, so we have this dua here, mashallah, and... Um, this is just a start. Hopefully later on in the vlog we'll have a bit more going on. But this is a good start for now. I've got my candle over here. I'm going to find more of my Jinn Maza, especially the padded one, and put it over here. And my Quran. Now I need to go to do some shopping. It is 9pm. we have read Maghrib. Time to do some last minute Sahari shopping. Because I already cried in so we've got the chest of drawers up here, which is great. But unfortunately, the wardrobe is just too wide. It's too hefty and wide to fit into this room. And they nearly got it in, but the radiator just got in the way. I say I'm sorry before it's too late now. I will never give up. Because I do that. I basically combined two recipes, which I do a lot. I don't know if anyone else does that. Does anyone else look at a recipe and they're like, mm, yeah, okay, I'll start with that. And then they just go on to another one and they just get mixed up. And then it's like, oh, I mean, that's how it's supposed to turn out. <laughs> and I obviously added way too many veggies and the veggies are a lot bigger than they sh probably should be. But anyway, I had a little bit of a taste of the masala and it tastes good and that's the main point. I already saw the masjid. I think they're doing some sort of special like first of Ramadan program. Either that or he's fallen asleep there. I've just checked the time for the first rules of closing. It's for, or technically project is 4.17. But I just wanted to recommend something to you guys. This is a new smoothie from Lidl. They had a promotion on this <laughs> last week. I'm laughing because I just realized I already spoke about Lidl in this vlog. But this is the Super Smoothie Rejuvenate. And it's got apple, banana, grape, mango, kiwi, cucumber and spirulina in it. And also vitamins as well. And it is so good. There's Romy, he's back. <laughs> it's so, so yummy. And um, I personally really like this one. What guy likes the orange one? It's something else for now. But yeah, this is my favorite. It's so yummy. And I would definitely get it again. See me standing on. Assalamu everyone. It's Sunday. And it's uh, my first day of fasting today. I definitely have got quite a bad headache right now. I'm going to sit and do my schedule thing that I was talking about yesterday on Google calendar because honestly I was saying this to Maz as well I was like I just feel like without that I'm just so incredibly overwhelmed it's like yesterday we ended up staying away I got back from Zika I think I showed you guys the clip of me making the video we ate that and then we still had like an hour till Fudger. So we were just sat there and we were watching something um, and then we ended up falling asleep 45 minutes before Sally ended and I woke up like literally 5 minutes before I ended. Yeah, I um, literally had to quickly like down some water. That wasn't the kind of thing to do but it always takes a couple of days for your body to adjust. Alhamdulillah, got here. It's running super late. Honestly, that first, first opening to do. Yeah, just go here, I'm just outside. Let me have you. I don't know how you guys are feeling about working out around done, but I personally, like after my 20 minutes, I was like, oh my goodness, if I really want to do this workout properly, I need to do it after iftari. And I feel like there's enough time, mashallah, between iftari and sari 
for you to get a good amount of worship done but still not feel guilty about working out personally that's just that's just what I'm saying I personally am going to be working out every day but only for 20 minutes and then possibly a 10 minute stretch but I could even do the stretch to be honest like the next day the yoga um the slower softer part of yoga the next like in the fasting day I mean um, but yeah I'm gonna stop nattering on now and Read my Dravi and what should I, do? I? I did not look at that kitchen at all today. I just avoided it like the plague. I had such a bad headache. I hope you guys' this first fast went well. How did it go? Let me know down below. A little bit weird to like not be uploading this vlog kind of as and when, and just sit to a Tuesday. I might just stray away from that. I know I said every Tuesday there'll be a Ramadan content. What we'll see. What I've realized so far is there's a lot of talking and not much doing, but kind of the nature of the vlogs. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> but yeah. Let's see what happens, I guess. Anyway, speak to you guys soon. Love is.